Hello children, I know some of you are not having your geography book. So I am going to try to give you some information about geographical feature. I will explain the terms with the diagram. So you may keep your notebook, pen or pencil with you. You can note down and learn it easily. Let me try it. First of all, it is gentle slope. When the degree or angle of slope of a feature is very low, the slope will be gentle. It is given the diagram. Second one is said steep slope. When the degree or angle of slope of a feature is high, the contour are closely spaced. They indicate steep slope. That is a diagram. Next one is mountain. It is an elevation which rises abruptly above the surrounding area. On a map, contours showing mountain are closely spaced with the increase in the contour value. That is a diagram. Next one is conical hill. A natural elevation of earth's surface smaller than a mountain is known as hill. Its base is broad and almost circular in shape and has a narrow peak. That is a diagram. Next one is plateau or it has to be it is also known as tablelands. It is an elevated plain with relatively level surface which falls down rapidly. That is given the diagram. Next one is ridge. It is high along it, along hill represented on the map by elliptical contours. That is the diagram. On the top also it is given. Next one call. Or pass a call is a short steep sided depression on the ridge road usually follow these depressions it has to be given it means road can be make through this hole or between the space or gap of the mountain next one is saddle when the depression between the mountain peak becomes broad and low is called saddle on the top it is given <coughs> next one gap the term gap is generally used for a pass which has been lowered by action of running water next one is settlement settlement means is a place where people live and interact through various activities such as agriculture, manufacturing, trading, etc. There are three types of the settlement. Nucleated settlement, dispersed settlement, linear settlement. First one is nucleated settlement. Nucleated settlement have a number of house built close to one another along narrow street. Next one is disperse. In comparison with nucleated settlement, that is given a dispersed settlement pattern is characterized by scattered or isolated dwelling. These are found in sparsely populated area. Third one, linear. These settlement develop along the roadside, rivers, canals or railway line. Here is the diagram. It is also showing on the topo sheet. To know the sparse area, nucleated area. So children, I have shown and explained this different diagram with their term. You may note down and learn it accordingly.